In this video, I'm going to show you Chrome extensions which will add some extra features to your free Google Meet account. Some of these features are extremely important for online teaching and are not available in free Google Meet account. And by adding these Chrome extensions to your browser, you can get these features at no extra cost. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students. So if you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Now Google Meet and Zoom, these are the two popular software used for video conferencing during online teaching. There are also some other options such as Teams, Webex, and you can use any of these. They all are professional quality video communication software. But because most of us also use Google Documents such as Google Docs and Google Sheets and Google Classroom, therefore Google Meet is a good choice which is a whole package. But at the same time, because Google Docs are free, we want to use free Google Meet account. Now the core features of Google Meet are free, but there is also a Google Meet version available in Google Workspace, which was called Google G Suite and now they call it Google Workspace, which has some extra features in their Google Meet, which is a collaborative platform where you have all Google applications uh, with full features available in cloud. But if you don't want to pay for that, then you can add some extra features to your Google Meet application by using Chrome extension. And I'm going to show you the complete process of how to install these extensions and what features you are going to get. I will start a meeting and I will show you. But if you are an expert user and you only want to know the name of these extensions, I don't want to waste your time. So let me show you what extensions I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So I click on these more tools and extensions. And the first extension I'm going to explain is called Google Meet Enhancement Suite. And the second extension is called Node Reactions to Google Meet. And now I will start a Google Meeting and I will show you some of the features you will get in addition to your normal features. So now for beginners, what you need to do is let me open a new tab. And first thing you need to do is you just type Chrome Web Store. And now you click on this Chrome Web Store link. And from here, you have to type the name of the extensions, Google Meet Enhancement. And you will see this here. So you click on that. And this is the extension. You click on that again. And you will see add to Chrome here because I have already installed so I can see this button and you simply click on that and it will be installed. Now let's go back. Now you type node in this search bar and press enter and this is node reactions for Google Meet. You click on that and then you install this extension. Let me close this now and now I have started a new meeting and Ahmad is helping me in making this video. So we are two people in this meeting. And once the extensions are installed, you have to click on this icon and you can pin these extensions and you will see here. This is the enhancement suite in black color and in yellow color you will see node. And now the features you get by installing this extension, if you click on that, these are the features which are available in free version of this Google Suite enhancement. You have to enable the features which you want to use. For example, I have enabled only two features, quick leave and leave confirmation. So quick leave means that whenever I want to leave the meeting, I simply have to click shift K. And I have checked this to make sure that the software asks a confirmation. So for example, I want to leave this meeting. So I press shift K on my keyboard and this is the confirmation which I have to click. So if I click OK, I will leave the meeting. So this is one feature very useful. You can quickly leave the meeting. Now in a similar manner, you have auto join feature which you can click. Push to talk means that you have to press space bar when you want to talk. So press the space bar, you talk and when you release the space bar, now you will become muted. So this is also a very useful feature. There were some other features available in this free version. Unfortunately, they are no more available. And one of those was mute all. 
and this is very useful when you are teaching and you have 20 or 30 students you want to make sure that whenever you want you have the ability to mute them all in particular for primary school teachers if you are teaching younger students you have to mute them one by one and it is a big issue because they will start talking so you want to have this feature which is very useful and there are some other very useful features available as you can see in this area for which you have to buy the monthly subscription if for example you are taking meeting of a community where you want everyone to enter the meeting auto admit new entrance is a very good feature to have Similarly, transparent bar means that if you hover in this area, this is your bottom bar, which is occupying a very large space. So this feature allows you to make this area transparent. So if you have a large class where you want to see that all your students are present, Google allows 16 participants to be shown in this area. And there is also an extension called grid view extension, which allows you to more than 16 participants to be shown in this area but then this bar becomes a big problem because this occupies a large space so you can make this bar transparent so these are very useful features but unfortunately the developers have reduced some important free features and this transparent bar was also free but unfortunately no it's not and we are getting less and less free features now but it is their product, whatever they want, they can do with that. Currently, these features are available in their free version and some of these might be useful for you. Now, the next Chrome extension is Node. Now, by using Node, you can add some reactions, thumbs up, thumbs down. But the reason I like this is the raise hand feature. Raise hand feature is very important for online teaching because during the lecture, what you want to do is you want to ask your students to raise their hands just to make sure that they are in the meeting and they are attentive, they are listening to you. This is one reason. And the second reason is that if your student want to ask any question, they can raise hand. So I will request Amar to raise hand so that I can show you how it looks on your screen. This is my account. I am at the top and this is Amar at the bottom. Now, this is what you will see when your student raise the hand. As you can see that it shows me Amar raised their hand and then you can mark the attendance or you can allow this student to ask any question. And when you are done, you can simply click on this cross and it will remove this from your screen. So this is a very useful feature as well. Now there is another Chrome extension which is very useful for teaching online and that is to take the attendance. But that is a little bit uh, complex extension and I have made a separate video on Google Meet attendance. So I will put a link somewhere in this video or at the end of this video or you can search on my channel and you can watch that video. That is a very popular video on my channel and you will understand how to take attendance in your Google Classroom because now Google has integrated Google Meet with their classroom. And I would like to request Google to add this hand raise feature in their default options. And they are adding features in their free account. For example, let me show you in this area. They have added this layout where you can see up to 16 students in your Google Meet meeting. If you select this layout, you will be able to see up to 16 students. Similarly, they also have added this uh, change background option. And I'm sure that uh, Amar is using this background. This is a background available in Google Meet. So you can use this change background option if your background is very messy. And they have also integrated Google Meet with Google Classroom. So they are working on this product. And I'm sure that one day we will also see this raise hand feature in their free version because this is such an important feature and if i want to raise hand for example i just click on this and it will show this message that digit idea raised their hand this was a short video about these two important chrome extensions which you can use with google meet to get some extra features these free and paid features may change in future but i am making this video on 3rd of the January of 2021 and currently these features are free and on the right hand side we have some paid features. So I hope that you like this video. So if so, please hit the like button because that will help this video to reach more teachers and students. Thanks for watching and see you next time.